Yeah, you know, it, 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 I think what's what's interesting to me to see is, um, you know, how, uh, you know, organizations that, you know, have gone on this journey for so long. There was there was a period of time where, um, you know, if I sort of wind the tape back to the early part of my career where, you know, it was all about, hey, we need to start thinking about digitization. We need to start thinking about um, uh, transaction processing, automating a lot of that. We need to start thinking about the business process reengineering that comes with that. And the data pieces were always uh, a bit of an afterthought in terms of, you know, the analytics. And, and so, uh, you know, a, a lot of, uh, in the, the early days, a lot of this was sort of thought about as, as, um, uh, the janitorial work with data, you know, the, the stuff that sort of was required, but wasn't glamorous that just sort of needed to get done, um, to support a lot of what was going on, um, you know, in the front office. And, and I think what, what's, what's really interesting now is that, um, companies have woken up to the fact that they, you know, compete on on information as much as the goods and services um, that they make and provide. Um, you know, if they want to cater to long tail segments in their market, if they want to manage and model risk better, if they want to welcome uncertainty into their businesses, they they realize that agility with with data is is really the thing that's going to allow them to do that. And so now you're really seeing data products, you know, becoming the thing that. Um, allows uh, organizations to differentiate. And for me, that is just, it's super exciting because you got a lot of creative people now that have access to, you know, more diverse sets of data than ever before that are able to, you know, manage and, and, and manipulate that data in new and interesting ways um, to really get to um, outcomes that drive the business. And so when I get a chance to spend time with, you know, large, um, you know, as an example, um, you know, pharmaceutical companies that are, you know, working on clinical trials, and they tell me that, you know, they're able to, you know, give their scientists, not not data scientists, but literally their chemists, you know, access to to data now that allows them to go in and to self serve, and, um, you know, to stitch together, you know, not just the traditional, you know, clinical, you know, trial information, but experiment data, assay data, um, uh, real world evidence, so behavior data, Mm -hmm. um, that are, that are coming, you know, off of devices like inhalers that they're testing and, and that allows them to get products to market in, you know, instead of, you know, 13 years from inception to FDA approval, um, shrinking that to, you know, five or six years, like cutting that in half, you see yeah. the impact that that has not just on, you know, their top line, but on the health of the population. Uh, and, and that's a data driven thing. And to me, that's just super, super inspiring. Um, and, uh, and I think, uh, you know, we're, we're still, despite all the hype, we're still, I think in the early innings of, of what this is going to do to transform organizations and markets and, and, um, you know, kind of the, the, um, the world at large. So I'm looking yeah. outside my window and I see houses. I'm assuming in a couple of years, these houses will be just talking to each other, talking to the trees and everything is just going to, and the amount of data collected from all of that is just going to be unreal. Yeah. I have a feeling. Well, the, 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 the whole concept of digital exhaust and, okay. and, you know, all the instrumentation that's going on pretty much of, of everything is, is something that creates unique opportunities and also challenges uh, for yeah. a lot of organizations, because now they are having to contend with, you know, more uh, scale and diversity than they've ever seen before. And so really thinking about what the architecture is that's going to support that. And at the same time, you know, still support this idea of of, of self-service. And and I think, you know, we've from the very beginning, and I think, you know, Trifactor sort of shared this this point of view very deeply, um, as does Altrix, um, uh, but, you know, very deeply have felt that it's really important for the people who know the data best to be able to do this work. Yeah. And, you know, it's the people who have context in their heads, you know, who, you know, sort of understand, you know, how the data gets used to make business decision, 